And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, partner? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. Yeah, and you use these running backs so much in the passing game now, and you expect them to make those plays for you, to make those big explosive plays out of the backfield. Just got to make sure he concentrates and see that ball come in. Back to pass. It's Uyunga Lale. Complete downfield. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. Oh, there's, there's an example, Jesse, of a receiver making his quarterback look bad. Most of the time, they make it look good and cover up for him. All those balls y'all don't throw online, but oof, that would hit him in a pretty good spot. He needs to come down with that. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Oh, yeah. Using the quick game. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. And the Seminoles are rolling down the field. Trick nine, beat. They are going back to the ground. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Linebackers in today's football, obviously, guys have gotten smaller. they got to play in space more, cover fast guys out on the perimeter. But how about this linebacker coming downhill and making a physical tackle in the hole? Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Off play action. The sure hands. It's Douglas. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Nothing too surprising about seeing the Seminoles being productive in the passing game. Man, we can think back, Reese, to so many great offenses for Florida State, whether it's Charlie Wood or Chris Winkie, whoever it is, the trigger man being really, really good is the start of a great Florida State team. Well, on that incompletion, the quarterback and receiver just not on the same page, and that wasn't even close. Man, what a finish we could have. Tie game, third quarter here, second and ten. After the incompletion, they go back up top. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. The number one job is to protect your quarterback, and they weren't able to do it long enough that time. This offensive line, Reese, they've got to do a better job communicating pre-snap and try and figure out which people on defense are going to be rushing the passer. Right now, this offense just looks confused up front. They'll snap it for the 10th time on this drive, but they need a chunk on third and long. Back to throw. It's Uyunglele. Fires to the wideout. And that ball is picked off. Going the other way, and he's got room. He's at the 40. At the 20. Touchdown, Buckeyes! A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house.
Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, the score is now 21 to 14. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. That last pick six after a drive like that, David, can swing the momentum of a game. The defense is still celebrating. I mean, such a big play. I mean, they, they gave up some yards but did what they're supposed to do. Now, Jesse, this offense has to put a drive together. Yeah, they have to recapture some momentum here. What they can't do is go three and out and give the ball right back. Man, a lot of times when you blitz that linebacker, it's about timing. You don't show your hand, and he gets up to the line of scrimmage, gets right through the line, and makes the tackle for a loss. And as soon as the running back gets the football, he's got a face full of linebacker. Not much you can do there. You've got to have a little better block. You've got to identify that blitz a little bit faster by the offensive line. Well, that's not on the quarterback. I know it's not easy completing some of these out routes, especially at the college level, but that's a play the receiver's got to make. A third and long coming up here. Looking for a man. It's Uyunglele. Got it set up on the outside. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. The Seminoles have it with a first and ten. 22, Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. What a good one there. He has enough for the first down. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Listen, that wasn't the greatest run in the world, but it was very successful in making me honor the run. And another thing, every time you run the football, someone gets tackled. There's physicality involved in the game. So I like when offenses commit to the running the football, no matter what the outcome is, because those body blows do add up. How about the defender being a heat seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. The marker rests at the 39, and that's what they need here on third down. They try to pop a run on the draw, and the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. What a great play by the linebacker. Do you talk about Number filling a hole? Defensive line does their jobs. He comes in the hole and says, sit down, sir. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. How about this? It's out of bounds inside the 10, and they're going to mark it right around. some time as he moves left he'll pull it down he's run out of bounds but not before turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down 
you honestly can't really do it better than that. You can't. I mean, that was designed to be a pass play. Give the defense credit. They get some pressure. But this guy's just too good. He just instinctively knows when he needs to scramble and get out of dodge. And at that point, he's making good decisions. If a guy's open, he's throwing it. But if it's not, he's not even hesitating. I'm going to go get what I can get, get a first down with my speed and athleticism. Let's keep this drive rolling. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He'll keep it himself. Got enough for the first, and he's still going. Slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Ooh, I like that. running that too because it's obvious the defense right now is really keying in on this running back that was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run pretty good job of running to get two there to the 32 that's a really good job by the defense wrapping them up getting them on the ground take away that run game make them one dimensional put them in passing situations really good job by the defense Line getting set on second down. Well, guys, Ohio State has the lead here. Three quarters are in the books. Time becomes a factor both in trying to hold the lead or cut into it as we take a look at the stats. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. Here's the handoff. Pass the first down marker and still running. And he breaks into the open. He's at the 10. And he's loose and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Ohio State. I love the execution on that play. Great blocking up front just to get the ball carrier an opportunity in the second level of the defense. And then at that point, it was make a guy miss and use the speed. That was a perfectly executed play. PAT unit on the field. And it's no good. He missed the extra point. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And he caps Number things off with a scintillating 68-yard scoring run. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your perspective. It's pretty amazing at this point in the game, they're still in a position to win. Not everything has gone right for them up to this point, but with a couple of minutes left on the clock, if they can get a touchdown here, get a stop, and then get another score, they win. But they've got to start being aggressive and taking shots. Got the quick pass. They're ripping off chunks of yard to get it to the 33. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. Got it in the middle. It's Benson. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. Wow, the quarterback knew he had to get that one to his receiver quickly on the in route. Did you go, see the velocity go. on that throw? Going to the ground. 
He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride, and they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. The Seminoles want to move quickly. You know, this defense really has to play east-west in this game. They've got a lot of guys running sideline to sideline because of how this offense is attacking them. And you saw it on that play on the jet sweep. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller, and certainly if you're the quarterback, that you're going to have time to throw. Third and short in college football today, you see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive. And I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. Dropping back, it's Uyangalale. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. Obviously, they fail on that fourth down, but because there's still time on the clock, this game's not over. Who on defense right now can step up and make a big play and get the ball back to the offense? They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. Looks as if he'll work his way forward and get it up to about the 11-yard line. And I think if you're the head coach, defensively now, obviously, you've got three timeouts in your back pocket. You're trailing at this point, and the offense is going to be running the football, trying to bleed the clock. They're going to take as much time off the game clock as they can before snapping it. You've got to start thinking about using some of those timeouts. They're bringing heat. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. The Buckeyes get enough for the first down. Really been impressed by the balance we've seen from this offense so far in the game, but I think you got to give a lot of the credit to the running game because it's been able to freeze these defenses, help set up play action. They've been physical at the point of attack. I think that really has been the key force for this offense so far, having the success they've had. And the Buckeyes will snap it on first and ten. They'll ride the running back and leave it with it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and leading the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. It'll be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Quarterback now breaking the field. Looking down the left side. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. And now on second down for this offense. They'll try the run. Hard running there. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. And I don't think they got it snapped before the play clock ran out. Delay of the game. Offense. Offense. That delay of game penalty pushes the offense back even closer to its own end zone. On the Defense getting a boost from this crowd on third and long. Right. 
Dropping back, it's Howard. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. The Buckeyes will try to pin them back with the punt. Here's the punt, and he's done better. Not much on that one. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. A really disappointing end of that last drive, David. Getting stopped on fourth and goal, they'll try to regroup. Yeah, and, I, and I think I'm preaching to my squad right now. Listen, we drove the ball down the field. We didn't just punch it in. Let's put another drive together, Jesse. And this time, let's get some points. You're right, because there were a lot of positives on that last drive. They did a lot of things really well. And the pass is intercepted. He'll try to take it back. He's inside the 40, the 20, 10. Touchdown, Buckeyes. The defense puts six on the board with a big-time interception return. And, man, the offense has the lead, has the football. All you got to do is run the clock out, maybe be conservative, run the football. They chose to throw, and the defense makes them pay. How about this? These guys are going for two. Get set, get set. Six, nine, one, Gator Spar. They're going to run it. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And these decisions to go for two, you see more and more of it throughout a game, chasing points. And then in the end, you wonder if this just comes back to bite you. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. Here he comes from inside his own spot, and he pulls it up inside the 20. It's recovered by the kicking team, and they get the ball right back. Hey, this kickoff coverage team, they just get to the ball carrier. They are flying around. They're beating their blocks. And the ability to create a turnover on a special teams play like this, and that is massive. And now it sets them up in great field position. On first down, here comes this offense. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. First down for this offense. Brown wants to pass. Rolling to the right, trying to make something happen. He rumbles all the way down to the two-yard line. He gave a little bit of everything on that one. Man, you cannot coach this to quarterbacks. Hard focus downfield, soft focus around you. As soon as he felt the lane, he was gone. No second guessing at all. That was picture perfect, and he uses his speed to just gash the defense. Coming out on first down with the play fade. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. It's just a tremendous effort on defense, understanding the situation, right? Offense has the ball in a vulnerable situation. Someone's got to win and go get the quarterback, and the defense came up big. He wants to pass it on second down. And he can't quite make the connection as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. I love the way this defense is fighting down here close to their own goal line, right? They get a sack on the first play. Great coverage on the second one, knocking it away. Here comes a huge third down. Can they do it again? Can they come up with another big one? On the 
Right. It's still third and goal. Now on the move. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And here comes the field goal team. Salt, meet open wound. Not a chance. Missed it. An opportunity to really build this lead goes by the boards, but it's still a 19-point game. And that's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. have it back they'll try to get that offensive spear flaming not a lot to feel great about in this one jesse but i'm sure they'll try to seek out some positives well this might be an opportunity for teams to go back when they watch this game and just find the plays and the schemes that were working there weren't a lot obviously David, but maybe an opportunity for the coaching staff to condense the playbook i was gonna say there's not a lot of good to go back to. that'd be a quick film session because there was more negatives than positives but when you look at this this week, you've got a week to figure it out, figure out what your offense is going to be moving forward. Through his hands and incomplete. He normally makes that catch every time it's second down. After this, it'll be a wrap. Let's go. Back to throw. It's Uyangalale. He's going up top here late in the game. What a spectacular grab there as they try to finish this game with a little something to feel good about. Winning those individual six-second battles every play, time after time after time after time, and that leads to a victory here. And I love when teams go out and play like it's sudden death. Like if they lose the game, their entire season is over. This game wasn't for the national championship, but wouldn't, you wouldn't know that watching this winning team, David. Tremendous effort and tremendous execution. I love competitive people. I love competitive coaches. I love competitive teams that they know that their job is to go out and get a W no matter how, no matter where you play. You want to play in the parking lot? We'll go meet you. Great job of this team being ready, getting the W. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.